Hi guys, welcome to Algorithms Made Easy. In this video, we will see the question intersection of two linked lists. Write a program to find the node at which the intersection of two singly linked lists begin. In this particular diagram, you can see that C1 is the node at which both A and B list intersect. And so, in our result, we need to output the node C1. Here, in the example 1 that is given to us, 8 is the node where the intersection happens and so we need to return 8. Similarly, in the second example, 2 is the node where the intersection happens and so we need to return this list node. And in third example, there is no intersection and so we need to return null. So that's all about the question that we have. Now let's go and see how we can solve this question. Let's consider this example and try to find out this intersection point as a result. So we want to reach this 2 at the same point so that we can say the pointer that is coming from both the list is same and that this is the intersection point. So what do we need to do for that? For that in the list A we need to start iterating from this node and with that we need to skip these two nodes that are starting nodes from this list because this is a shorter list and this is a longer list. So how do we find how many nodes do we need to skip? So that would be given by the difference of the length of these two lists. In this particular example, the difference comes out to be 2 as this is of length 5 that has 5 nodes and this is of length 3 that has 3 nodes. So the difference here is 5 minus 3 that is 2 and we can see that that is the perfect result we need to skip these two nodes and start from the third node in the larger list and start from the starting node in the smaller list in order to reach the intersection node at the same time. So this is the main gist of the question that we need to reach the intersection point at the same time. So once we start from these nodes, we'll keep on moving until we find an equal node that is we go on checking for equality. So when we reach this node, we can say that these two nodes are same nodes or equal nodes and so this is the point of intersection and we can return this node. If we do not find any intersection and the pointers comes out to be null at the end and we do not find an equal node, we can simply return null because there was no intersection, both the lists were exclusive lists. So over here in this approach what we need to do basically is that find the length of both the list, find the difference of the length of these lists, in the longer list skip the number of nodes that would be the difference of length in two list and then start iterating checking the equality for the nodes. Once we find the equal nodes return that node and otherwise if we reach null at the end return that null because there was no intersection found. Let's see how many iterations that we took. The effective number of iterations that we would be doing in here is m plus n that is first we need to find the length and then we need to skip this and go till the intersection node. So that would be m plus n in this particular approach. So now let's go ahead and code it out. So the first thing that we need to do is find the length of list A. For that let's take a variable that will denote the length of A and initially that would be 0. Let's take the head into a temporary head node. And now we'll loop on this temporary variable while this is not equal to null. And keep on increasing the length while moving to the next node. So this will give me the length of the A list. Similarly, we will do for B list. So it would be length of B, all the A's would get replaced by B. Let's do that quickly and that's it. We have got the length of B list. Now we need to find the difference between these lengths. So difference becomes the absolute difference of A minus B. Now we need to iterate over the longer list for this difference number of nodes. So let's again take heads in temp variable and we need to move one of these heads by this difference pointer. So 
so this would take care of moving one of the pointers whichever is larger till my difference point and at this point i'll get my temp a and temp b to start from the same number of nodes far away from my intersection node so that i can reach the intersection node at the same time so now i can check for equality and for that i'll do while my temp a is not equal to temp b i'll be moving both the pointers one step ahead and while moving this there can be a situation that i am not going to get this condition and reach a null pointer so i'll check if temp a becomes null or my temp b becomes null i need to simply return null finally i can return any of the pointer so let's return temp a and that's the code let's run this and it's giving a perfect result let's submit this code and it got submitted so the time complexity as we had calculated would be o of m plus n and the space complexity would be o of 1 now this is a lengthy code can we shorten this up so let's see how we can achieve the same thing using a different approach so initially my pointers would be at 1 and 3 and if i keep moving this pointers till the end my a pointer would reach 1 and my b pointer would reach 4 at this point what i can do is i can switch pointers list so as this pointer was starting and pointing to the list b i'll just shift this to a and keep on moving now my a's pointer initial pointer has reached the last node and so i assign it to head of b and at this point i'll reach a stage wherein both the pointers are at equal distance from the intersection and this is the situation that we get by calculating the number of nodes that we needed to skip so now we can just go on iterating over the list and find the intersection so after just one node in this case we have found that both the pointers are pointing to the same node and so this is the point of intersection that we need to return this is one more approach for solving this question effectively the time and space complexity would remain the same that we saw for the previous approach so let's go ahead and quickly write the code for this one so let's just remove this code and we'll take two pointers after we have this we'll be looping while these both are not equal in here for temp a i'll either be moving to its next node or to the head of list b and similarly for list b i'll be moving one step ahead or to the head of list a so let's do that so i have used a ternary operator over here stating that if it is not null then move to its next pointer or else move to the head of the other list similarly for temp b finally we can just return one of the nodes so let's return temp a so this piece of code will also take care of the condition where we are going to return null because we are switching only once and the next time we'll be iterating over the same list and if there is no intersection it would eventually be reaching the last pointer of the list and that would be coming into a temp and that would get returned so let's run this code and we are getting a perfect result let's submit this and it got submitted so the time complexity would remain the same as the previous approach it's just that the code is shorter over here so that's it for this question guys i hope you like the video and i'll see you in another one so till then keep learning keep coding